Hi, this is David with ORS Racks Direct. I'm here at our um, beautiful warehouse distribution facility. We've had another fantastic day. We've packed up all our boxes and answered all of our emails and all our phone calls. And now we even have time to do a little demonstration for you. And today we're going to go canoeing. So we got the canoe on top here already, but we are using the fantastic Yakima gunnel brackets or gunwale brackets. And there's a lot of debate on ex exactly how you're supposed to. Uh, pronounce that so uh, if you want to write to us and let us know that would be fine we're gonna call them the gunnel brackets um, what you get here are four uh, really solid um, L brackets here and uh, they're raised up a little bit uh, they have a rubber protective coating I'm gonna show you one of these very oh, sorry about that <clears throat> I'm going to show you one. It's got a rubber, a little rubber padding on here, so it protects your your gunnel your your gunnel brackets, um, your your gunnels on your canoe. There uh, couldn't be simpler. Now this attaches only to round and square bars. So what that means is it attaches to any it attaches to Yakima base rack system round bars, and also attaches to to Inno rack square bars and Thule rack square bars. If you're going to attach them to the square bars, you're actually going to remove this. Uh, this, this, this little um, uh, round um, tab here. And so what you would do, you would just take a, a cutter and then you would just, you just slice off half there and half on the other side and take those out and then that'll, that'll slide right onto square bars. We actually have this attached to uh, an, an Eno um, INFR um, side rail base rack system just to show you how, uh, how flexible this, uh, this uh, gun, gunnel bracket system is. Simply place, uh, simply place the bolt right in there, and then take your little wing nut here and just uh, tighten that down. That's all there is to it. Do that to all four brackets, and it's not going anywhere. Nice thing about this, uh, you know, just light years ahead of the ease and convenience of using uh, uh, just straps or uh, even foam blocks or something like that. You don't ever have to worry about the, the canoe moving laterally from side to side or you know bouncing up and down seesawing the seesaw effect or something like that um, does come also with a pair of uh, load straps to tie tie your boat down let me just show you how easy that is i already have one on the other side let me bring that right around for you I'm also using this handy uh, accessory here. This is the Thule 232 Step Up. It's a really nice little um, uh, lift assistant. You just put that right on your, uh, your your wheel there and step up. Brings you right up to the rack itself, so you don't have to stretch out anything like that. Uh, pretty convenient. Okay, so we just take the straps and just wrap them right around the bar there. These also have uh, it's a premium strap system. It's got a rubber. Uh, rubber uh, buckle protective uh, cover on top of the, the ratcheting um, uh, buckle, met metal buckle, so you don't have to worry about it. If you ever throw the, throw the straps over top or anything like that, you don't have to worry about it banging up your car or anything like that. Have your wife uh, screaming at you about that, or your husband, I don't know. Whoever's, whoever's really crazy about their car in your family. Anyways, uh, just tightening that down, simple. Just like that. Do the same thing to the front with the other uh, strap that's included. You know, just tie. You know, just wrap this around. Very easy. You know, however you want to do it. I'm not a professional strap wrapper, but uh, you know, it all works. It's good. Let me show you how I got this on here. It's a really neat accessory from Thule, and this is called the uh, Thule 854 Water Slide Mat. Really neat. Just attaches to any rear crossbar. Uh, that, that you have uh, with the two uh, integrated straps. Now this mat has a non-slip underside which is really neat. So it actually performs two functions. Um, first of all, it protects your, your, your car so when, when you place the boat up on here you don't have to worry about it marring the finish um, of your car. It never, never touches the car. And, and, that's, and that's a nice feature because you can lift the front of the boat up on here and just place it there. The non-slip surface prevents it from moving so you can actually help use it to help you push the boat right up onto uh, the, the canoe rack. So a really neat little accessory. That's the 854 water slide. Final accessory. Now this does not come included with the, uh, 
with the uh, gunnel brackets from, from Yakima, but it's a nice little extra feature to have for any long uh, thing that you're carrying, such as a, such as a canoe. Uh, these are the bow and stern tie down straps. What you're first gonna do is just place this underneath your car anywhere, you got a point, and then just attach this to your canoe, and it's got a real nice ratchet. Listen to that, that's nice. And that just tightens down. And then just tie that off, and you don't have to worry about any seesawing effect like that. A very safe and secure system for traveling down the road. Finally, uh, there are a couple really neat products for uh, locking your canoe or, or any boat that you have on top of your car. We have the steel core lock straps here and the lash lock uh, strap system. Very simple. Just wrap them uh, through, through your rack system and over your boat. This one uses um, a key. Uh, to lock this one, this one actually uses a uh, this is this one actually uses um, a combination lock. So check those accessories out um, in the accessory add-on section on the product page. So this is the Yakima Gunnel Brackets, uh, great con canoe uh, system for you. And I hope you enjoyed this presentation. I'm David with ORS Racks Direct. Thank you.